Tale from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and today we're here with Big Daddy versus the Giant Haystacks. Hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're very good. well. Yes, really we just come. We just come off stage, so we're all right. Yeah, how was the performance? It was great. It was good Cracking. today, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't too sweaty. Yeah, was that your first performance? Third. Or third. 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 Or our 58th, if you look at it overall for yes. the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Third here. So have they all gone well? All 58 of them. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that incident. Um, yeah, no, they've been really good. Um, it's been interesting getting into the, the, the assembly box because it literally is a box. Yeah. It's, it's four it's four porter cabins put together on the outside and you go in and it's a lovely little yeah, studio theatre. It's a really small so little theatre with two yeah. very large blokes yeah. in it basically. You'll never see two men sweat so much in 70 yeah. minutes. No. Wow. Yeah, that's, true. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So how did you guys meet each other and get oh, together we, and start well, this? We, we've known each other for years haven't we? Longer than Nine, we've not known each other. 22 yeah. years. Lived in Brighton wow. a very long time together. We've done various mates. projects together. Yeah, we were flat flatmates for a while. At one point I infested his house. Yeah, until he got a wife. Yeah, that's right. Infested her house then. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about your show. Well, it's about the rise and fall of British wrestling, uh, seen through Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks, who are its two biggest protagonists, yeah. and it's it's their rise to fame and then their fall to infamy, yeah, and and their demise. So it's, it's a very funny show with a, a bittersweet ending, yeah. and uh, it's very sweaty. We play eight characters each, at least, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of props, there's a lot of beards and wigs flying around, yeah. and, you know, we've got them there's, in the right order now, which There's helps. no time for nicety, yeah, no, absolutely. No, he just chucked a wig yeah. with us today, didn't yes, Was I that did. a wig or a beard? It was a wig. It was a wig. It was a wig, it was a wig. Yeah. Yeah. Tell to tell. Margaret Thatcher. Uh, Princess Margaret. Frank he gets all the girls. Frank, I get all the, yeah. I get all the pop stars, you which do. is really unbelievable. I played which gets Paul a McCartney, laugh. ladies and gents. Yeah. You can see. It gets a laugh of itself, that does Frank Sinatra. Yeah. I'm down here with him yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, and there's a series of clever theatrical tricks to when I am giant haystacks, because as you can see, I'm not particularly giant. The actual man was six foot 11 and 40 stone. And so I, there was a degree of uh, imagination yeah, required. Definitely. Especially since my character was only six foot three. Yeah. Yeah, let's not dwell on that. No, no. <laughs> so is it really difficult, sort of switching between characters? Because you'll have to do it in quite a short period of time, I imagine. Oh, instantaneously. And sometimes yeah. you come on, well, sometimes I come on with the wrong voice, which is <laughs> awkward. Sometimes yeah. he comes on with the wrong words. Shut up. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's not true. But, maybe occasionally. Just once. We're both sort of sketch background, uh, done uh, various sketch things. I used to be on A. Johnson's, you did a yeah. bit of that. Yeah. And you also did uh, Trees and, Trees and, Trees and, and like that, which is all about fast changes and fast things so yeah. after a while it's fine you just go it's yeah. this bit boom, boom, boom. you know yeah. it's uh, yeah. there's no time for method though yeah, it'll be very, oh very no no we're not waiting like this guy i don't yeah. feel it love yeah. don't do that Can't. what would margaret princess margaret do in this do situation, in this situation. Yeah. No, no pinch time. big daddy's arms yes <laughs> yeah. yeah so why did you choose to do a piece about this particular topic Oh, we knew them as kids. I mean, we did the cl classic thing of growing up watching them with our with our grand on a Saturday afternoon, and um, and also they were big blokes, and you know we're big, large, There's limited blokes, roles. Limited you know. roles. But also the the writers, Brian Mitchell and Joseph Nixon, um, they they wrote another thing uh, called For those, us. Ma those Magnificent Men, uh, which they then promptly sold to New Perspective Theatre Company, yeah. who then took one look at us and went. The plane's not going to get off, lads. Uh, so, uh, you yeah. know... It was about crossing the, the Atlantic. It's right. the first flight across the Atlantic. Oh. Um, and uh, so they said, well, we'll do something else. And, of course, that that is something we've always been interested in. And um, and Ross looks disarmingly like Big Daddy. So, the, the, you well, know, a little bit... say that. Mine, you also look like Caesar, Goering, Hitler... Yeah, no, not Hitler, others, Mussolini. Not Hitler. Not, 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 no, not Hitler. Other, but, uh, <laughs> other shows I have done is what yeah. he's on about. Yeah. So it's an award-winning show. So yes. tell us about some of the awards you've won. Oh, well, uh, Brighton we got Best Actor, uh, and in Buxton we got Best Show. Uh, yeah. Fringe Guru gave it Editor's Award, didn't it? Yep. Um, uh, um, is that it? That's, That's it. for this show, I for think. We've been nominated show. for other things. We've done yeah. previous shows where we've uh, got won stuff. Brilliant. Stuff, uh, things. Harold Angel for Follow Me. Which was up here a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a serious play. This is a comedy. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, so what have you got planned after the Fringe for the sort of next year? Oh, resting. Yeah. Resting. September nothing. <laughs> Lying. Um, I thought wrestling for a second. Oh, God, no. It's too much, too no, much like hard work. Uh, we did, we've got a little tour on in January, haven't we? Yes. Of January show. to February, March. We've got uh, um, about 15 dates in so far. And we're hoping to fill in cool. some more. Yeah. Um, and I'm off doing uh, one of Brian's other shows, The Opinion Makers at the Mercury Theatre Colchester cool. and the Derby Playhouse, which is a musical about market research, which doesn't sound promising, but is very funny. It's very sure. funny. Yeah, it is. So when and where is your show on? We're on at the box at 12.15 yeah. uh, in, the, in the afternoon, not yeah. the morning, um, yeah. and it's at Assembly, yeah. George Square. 
Thank you very much for coming and speaking to us, guys. Thank Pleasure. you. I'm listening to show you've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. <laughs>